Hello, my name is Emmanuel Ray, and I'm auditioning for the role of comedic host. Our top story today focuses on Russia. Yes, the same Russia that years ago invited the United States with Tesla techs, and was single-handedly turned back by a beautiful commando armed with only two pistols and abs that don't quit. Thank you for your service, Tanya. And while that was the Russia of the past, the Russia of the future faces a much different problem. Omnics. Yes, Omnics. Just another example of humanity's innate need to create robots to murder themselves with. But we just wanted to invent Roomba. Well, you should have thought of that twice before you gave your vacuum the ability to be very angry with you for making it clean your cat's hairballs. Thanks, scientists. Now, the original Omniac crisis was in large partly handled by the Russian Defense Forces and the organization known as Overwatch. But with the second Omnic crisis looming, a ragtag unsanctioned Overwatch team has more or less put itself in charge. Who are these heroes? What are they capable of? What are their long-term goals? We really don't know, and that's the problem. You see, the background of this new Overwatch team is incredibly confusing, and that seems to be by design details about a group who've parsed together various forms of sometimes difficult to find media. A snippet of backstory here and a report on an incident there. So who are they exactly? Are they even from the original Overwatch? Are they members of Talon or an offsuit of the Helix Security? And why would any of these organizations be interested in hiring a DJ? We can't defeat Omnis with your black rock and beats, Lucio. For God's sake, put down your turntables and pick up a gun. People are dying. Further, is this new Overwatch team even effective? They're supposed to be an elite fighting force, but they're acting like children on the battlefields. Sometimes they're on one side, sometimes they're on the other. Sometimes they're all dancing, sometimes they're eating lollipops. And you never know what Overwatch is going to show up. Are you counting on an elite sniper, a ballerina? To be fair, a life of stage mom with lettuce lunches can be just as scary as a long range rifle. And who approved of these tactics? Take a look at this footage, where a soldier known as mine has just left a blo massive block of ice all over the place. That's not a defense, that's a dangerous traffic hazard. And if a kid puts their tongue on that, man, forget it. This is all to say that Overwatch needs an oversight. Who watches the Overwatch men? Too often these groups go into battle either completely unbalanced with their team or with a frustrated mix of veterans and rookies, which, in the case of Overwatch, can make for some dangerous explosive situations. My solution? Send the DJs to your city before it's in crisis and have a dance party. Blow off some steam. I mean, man, you're right. I've been hosting for about two years now. I've got two years of teleprompter experience over at After Buzz TV. I do stand-up comedy about three days a week. I've been doing that for about two years now. I rap. I produce music. I'm tons of fun. I got energy. I love video games. I love TV. I love the hot mommies out there on the beach. I'm crazy fun. Happy casting. I look forward to working with